Okay guys, so this is the fitness tracker. So this is the box that it comes in. On the back it shows its functionality and compatibility. And at the bottom shows the different colored bracelets you can get to accessorize it. In the box what you'll get is a user manual, a bracelet, a USB charger, and the tracker itself. First thing you want to do when you get your fitness tracker is charge it. So it has these little prongs here. Just attach it to the device and it'll start charging. So to go through the options on the fitness tracker, there's these little there's a little dimple at the bottom here. So this is the main screen, and you use this little dimple to swipe across. So you have step, beats per minute, it's a little hard to see, beats per minute, motion, info, and more. So select your option. You just press down. So under step, you can view your steps, distance walked, calories burned, battery life, and your return option. To return, you would just press down and it would go back. And you have your beats per minute. So this will check your your heart rate and the back here will flash as long as that's against your wrist we'll track your pulse and get your beats per minute or your heart rate then we have motion so this is more for your um, your workouts So stepping, skipping, sit-ups. So if we were to go under steps, for example, press down. And it will time how long you were doing that for and the calories that were burnt. And the same thing goes for skipping and your sit-ups hold down, track how long you did it for, and the calories that you burned. Come back. And then we have info. So under info, right now it says no, um, but what you would have is you would have this set up with the app and you can get notifications um, whether it was text messages, Facebook, Instagram, whichever, you view your notifications there. And then you have more. Under more, you have an about section, which just shows the software version and the product code. You have your theme, so you can customize the main page. So it gives you three options to pick from. You want to select you just hold down and then you have a shut off option so yes or no and then return and that's pretty much a quick walkthrough on the fitness tracker so now let's go into the app and we'll go through a walkthrough on that. So now we're gonna go into the app for the, for the fitness tracker. So whether you're on Apple or Android, you're gonna wanna download the app called FitPro. We'll open that here. On the top left, you're gonna wanna hit register. Just put in your email and password and select register. And then you go back to the main page and 
login. And it's going to take you to this main page. We'll go over that in a second. The first thing you want to do is set up your uh, your fitness tracker to the app. So we're going to pair it. So you're going to go under set, which is the second tab. And at the very top, you're going to hit bind device to experience more features. It's going to ask you to enable your Bluetooth, select allow. And now it will find your device. Once it finds your device, select it and it will connect. And we're connected. So first thing you want to do once you're connected is go under mine and go under user profile. This here you can set up your nickname, your gender, age, height, weight, your step targets, and you can change your units in weight and height, whether it's pounds or kilograms, whichever. You go under the step icon and this is going to be your main page. So you're going to have your, your steps, distance traveled, calorie consumption. You have a health rating and this will check your body mass index as well as your body fat percentage. And it will give you a health rating based on the information you put, on, put in prior about your age, weight etc. You also have your heart rate levels and it'll show your history of when you tracked it. You also have your sleeping schedules and it'll let you know if you were awake, if you were in a light sleep or a deep sleep. And you have healthy habits so this is your your meals that you've eaten, the physical activity you've done, going to bed, going going to bed early or late, uh, things like that. Under the set option where we were earlier, you have a find my device option which will vibrate your fitness tracker if you don't know where it is to help you find it. You can also take photos, so if you were taking a photo after your workout, you could push this, it'll do a countdown, and take a photo. Uh, you also have message push, so when we were using the device earlier, under info, you're able to add all these apps here, where you can get notifications right on the fitness tracker itself. You can also choose to reset your device, remove the device um, and other. Other is just a vibrate setting. Then you have your motion page which is walk, run and bike. So if you were to hit start it'll do a countdown. It'll open this up and it'll track by GPS where you're going uh, the distance you traveled, the pace that you were going at, the total time you took to travel that distance, and your heat consumption, which um, I imagine is your calorie count. And then if you ever want to cancel, you just swipe to the right and hit end or carry on. Exit. And that's pretty much the whole walkthrough on the app. Alright guys, so that was a quick walkthrough on the fitness tracker and the app setup. So hopefully that helped you guys out and uh, we'll see you in the next one.